It has seriously taken me like six tries to just do the introduction to this video. So let's try one more time. What's up all you amazing people, it's May, I am back. Before I jump too far into this video, I'd like to remind you to like and subscribe to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, then I thank you so much for your support. And if you're a new subscriber, welcome. I first wanted to address that last month's video was pretty heavy hearted and I wanted to thank all the people that reached out to me and extended their support. Um, that was the main point of that video. It wasn't to depress anyone or to make you feel some type of way. It was just to simply get out my story and hopefully um, it was like an outlet for me to just you know, let you guys know what I've been through and hopefully for other people, if they're going through similar things, then they know that they're not alone. With that being said, I wanted to make this month's video happier and so I've decided to share some really good news with you people. I am moving again! If you've been following my channel, you'll know that last year in June, I moved to Merced and um, that was a really great opportunity for me. I experienced a lot of different things. I got a job at a retail store and um, you know, I've made some really good friends along the way. However, for the past few months, I have been wavering on the decision I made to move to Merced. There have been a lot of doubts in my mind, asking myself if I made the right choice to move, um, if I'm really happy here, um, you know, kind of like what I want my life to look like going forward. So I brought these concerns up with my mom, um, you know, I was just saying, you know, like, um, I'm not sure if I'm happy in Merced and I was asking if it'd be possible for me to move out of Merced to a different city considering Fresno. Um, I was for a short amount of time thinking of moving out of state because I know Oregon and Washington are cheaper. Um, I know that'd be a huge move. Um, however, life had a completely different plan for me and honestly I can say I'm very pleased with the direction it's going right now. So sometime last month in January, I had been contacted by a family who wanted me to come work for them as a live-in nanny. And I was um, very conflicted because as much as I love to work with kids, I love, you know, um, playing that nanny role type, I was concerned for multiple reasons. I brought up to them that I am located in Merced, they are in the Bay Area, and I was basically convinced that once I said where I was located, they were just going to say, you know what, it's not gonna work out, thanks for giving us your time. But they did not say that at all. They were expressing to me how they were interested in having me cover the living nanny job position. Um, they also mentioned how they had been talking to other candidates for the same job, um, but my resume on the website they found me on was outstanding to them because um, all my previous jobs have been child care provider. Um, the first job as a retail was this year. So I had some very big decisions to make regarding this job. Um, for one thing, it's a huge move. My lease in this apartment complex, you know, it doesn't end until, um, until this upcoming June. And so I was con because I knew it was going to be an expense um, that is just not to be taken lightly. Um, obviously when you are living in an apartment and you have a lease or a contract there are going to be consequences I guess if you could say for breaking that contract at least early. Um, there was also the entire expense of just getting all the materials for the moving that includes any boxes that we need, the moving truck itself, and then just, you know, all, all of that together. Um, while that was one of my concerns, another one of my concerns was that I do have pets. I mentioned this to the family. I brought it up when we were on multiple phone calls. I, you know, I expressed to them, you know, I have two pets that I adore and it would break my heart to have to give them up. And so I let them know I have to let them, you know, I had to get back to them on the yes or no answer to their question. Um, and honestly, I did this in a timely manner because um, the family that I am going to be working for, they are expecting a, a first baby girl, um, their first child, and so um, 
well I wanted to think through my decision thoroughly and make a clear conscious decision I also need to be um, aware of the time and give them an answer within like in a timely manner because you know out of respect to them and so I was very conflicted because like I said I absolutely adore my pets Mickey my cat and some of my guinea pigs um, I spoke over this concern with multiple people of um, you know people that I'm in contact with friends my mom and um, you know they were all saying the exact same thing like you know you have to be the one to make this decision yourself no one can tell you what to do and that is something that I find very important um, just you know to really go with your gut and so while I appreciated that they wanted me to make my own decision what I felt was right um, it was still a huge difficult thing to decide on. So if you have a pet, I'm sure you can relate to the idea that pets are basically family, you know, you become attached, you grow fond of them, and, um, you know, giving them up, um, rehousing them for, you know, like even just like adoption or just, you know, just not, how do I say this? The idea of having to give your pet up is very hard and it can and that was what I was going through and on top of the decision of having to give up my pets there was the fear in my head where um, you know there there was just this underlying fear that hypothetically I would move out of Merced start living with his family and for one reason or another it just wouldn't work out and at that point it would have felt like well I just gave my pets up I totally switched out my life um, for basically nothing, you know, it would be a huge disappointment and it would just kind of be discouraging because, you know, you know, obvious reasons, moving, pets given up, and just like all these changes for what, right? So that was one of the fears, you know, in the back of my mind when I was thinking about this job that I was considering to take. Um, I expressed, you know, the same concerns to both the family and to my mom. My mom is part of this picture just because she is the one who is co-signed on my lease and if I am to move, obviously she is going to have to be notified. Um, she is also the one I would go to if I do move for financial you know, support for the moving itself. And so um, the family was gracious. They, were, they understood where I was coming from. They did have a stern... Um, opinion that they were not allowed to have pets in the house and I understood that you know I was very respectful of that I wasn't trying to push it um, and my mom understood that um, you know my concerns well fast forward a few weeks and my mom graciously decided and allowed me to leave my pets Simba and Mickey at the house in Mountain View while I continue on with my um, live in nanny career. Um, so yes, I took the job. I will be moving um, kind of mid-March, uh, March 15th, give or take a few days. Um, I am beyond excited for this job, for this opportunity. Um, you know, I, uh, as I mentioned earlier in this video, I've been having doubts about wanting to stay in Merced and this is just like the perfect opportunity, the perfect sign, I don't know what you want to call it. It's just, it couldn't have worked out any better. I will be moving back to the Bay Area, which is where I would ideally like to continue living regardless of how expensive it is. Um, and I will be doing like a job that I love. Not that I don't enjoy the work I do at the retail job I do now. However, it's not my passion. You know, um, I, aspire to be either like a preschool teacher or an elementary school teacher um just something working with children that's what really brings joy to me so yes i am incredibly excited i'm incredibly grateful i am just um i'm also a little stressed because you know um for those of you who have moved before the process of moving can be stressful it can be just kind of like a little overwhelming depending on how um, the timing is 
on the move and everything packing. Um, with all this new information about my new job, I also wanted to mention to you guys how I will probably be basically MIA from YouTube um, until, you know, um, I don't even know when, but, um, you know, I'm going to be a live-in nanny. I'm going to be living at these people's house, um, taking care of a child that is going to be newborn. Um, I'm going to be acting as a mother's helper because the mom has like an eye condition that makes seeing hard and um, <clears throat> on top of all that I just really don't feel 100% comfortable filming in someone else's house um, at least for the first few months um, so I wanted to make this video um, one to you know bring up this great news um, because the last video I made was as I said a little sad a little heavy-hearted and I didn't want to leave um, kind of you guys on that type of note and um, I also wanted to say this uh, or make this video not as a goodbye video because I'll definitely be back um, I just wanted to update you guys as to why I will most likely not be uploading for minimum nine months um, just because of you know the the situation of the whole job so with that being said i wanted to thank you all for your continuous support of my channel of my videos of the messages i get from you guys you know expressing um just you know that you enjoyed the video that um my video affected you in some positive way and you know it means a lot to me um i know that sounds really cliche and kind of stupid but it really does um i think um I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but when I first started this channel, I didn't think I'd make it past, you know, at least I didn't think I'd make it this far, you know. Um, my intent with this channel is not to become, you know, insta-famous, YouTube-famous, some some guru of any type. It's simply just to, you know, it's just a side hobby. It's just something that I enjoy doing. Um, like I've mentioned, I'm sure I've mentioned this before, I talk to myself a lot. Um, it's nice to talk to a camera and know that other people are hearing what I have to say instead of just babbling on to myself, to my pets, and having no response. Um, <laughs> the outro video I filmed on my camera did not um, import correctly onto my laptop, um, but I did just want to end this video by saying thank you for all your support and I really appreciate you guys and that I will see you when I see you. Bye.